Getting through this fence is only half an illegal crosser's journey, and in this extreme heat, it can be deadly. Border Patrol agents say with the rising temperatures, those crossing illegally are putting themselves at risk. To see what conditions these crossers go through, we went with Borstar, who oftentimes intercept these crossers before it's too late. 6 a.m. So I'm checking the forecast and we're expecting a high temperature today of around 105. Let's factor in that humidity though, and it's going to feel like it's 110 degrees. We make the journey to Fafurias to meet up with Borstar, a specialized unit with Border Patrol who focuses on search, trauma, and rescue. They're here to show us what kinds of conditions illegal crossers go through on a daily basis. Yeah, so right now we're working an operation called Operation Heat Wave. Borstar paramedic Daniel Reyes says heat-related deaths and injuries are a common reality for immigrants heading north this time of year. During the summer months, it's, it's pretty scarce out here. Um, there's no ranchers, there's no traffic, so when these people succumb to uh, the elements, they have nowhere to go. 9 a.m. They just got some pillowcases of what I see so far to carry their stuff. We're doing some sign cutting. Uh, we found a group of approximately 8 to 10 aliens, um, so we started tracking it from the source. Agent Reyes says once they get a call about a group in the field, it's their job to intercept the group before anyone succumbs to the elements. He says the record heat has agents out in full force. So we have resources coming from uh, our national team in El Paso to come assist us working 24 hours a day, seven days a week to uh, try to help out with that cause. It's time to start tracking the group on foot, walking the path these immigrants took just hours before. Agents will spend hours on foot tracking a group in the rising temperatures. These immigrants have to walk through high brush, thorns, sandy terrain, and barbed wire fences. This makes their journey even more difficult, and the deeper into the brush they get, the more dangerous it becomes. Agent Reyes says smugglers often don't prepare crossers for what they're about to go through. Uh, these guys are walking from anywhere to 20 to 50 miles um, across, you know, desertous terrains with, with only the amount of water and resources they could carry on their back. Even the shade in the trees can't help you in these temperatures. It's too humid. When you think about it, it's 104 degrees outside. I mean, myself, I'm, I'm sweating. I'm drenched in sweat. Smugglers will often tell a group the walk will take a matter of hours, but in reality, it takes days. Agents say extreme heat can have severe consequences for immigrants heading north. This is why the Borstar team has been getting a lot of 911 calls for heat-related illness and death. So normally, we'll start getting them about 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Is that's when it's just brutal. 2 p.m. Temperatures continue to rise past 100 degrees. Agent Reyes says at this point, the group has walked more than 20 miles through 100 degree heat. From, from the source where we started, uh, it's been about 23 miles, um, 104 degree heat. The tracking has stopped. The immigrants have been picked up by a smuggler off to their next location. Agent Reyes says the next team of Border Patrol agents is right behind us starting on the next group, making the dangerous journey north. Agent Reyes says since the launch of operations like Operation Heat Wave, the number of heat-related deaths has been reduced in the Rio Grande Valley sector. Along the border, first born five meteorologist Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News at 6.